Thanks for joining us on Hit 'em Up version 2.5. Welcome, new users, and thank you for upgrading to all our current users in the Hit 'em Up community. I'm going to quickly go over the new features of Hit 'em Up for our returning users, and then dive into how you can use Hit 'em Up for your organizational and other needs quickly and effectively. So let's get started. First off, you'll notice that in the new version of Hit 'em Up, we've added your contacts pictures to the left of each person with a beautiful panning effect. If you go ahead and swipe on a contact, you'll be able to edit aspects of your contact, including whether you want to hide that contact from view by tapping the little eye icon, change the telephone number Hit 'em Up uses with said contact, or add or remove the contact from various groups, like this. If you notice that any of your contacts are missing, well, they're probably not missing. They're probably just hiding, and you can see all of your hidden contacts here in the Hidden Contacts screen. We automatically hide contacts that do not have a valid first name and last name, or a valid phone number, or are duplicates for your convenience. But you can always search for those contacts here and unhide them. It's important to note that changes in your Apple contacts override Hit 'em Up's version of your contacts. So if you add a new mobile phone number, even if you change the number in Hit 'em Up, it will default to the first mobile phone number on the contact after the update. We like to say that Hit 'em Up is a walled garden because when you make changes to your contacts, it does not change your contacts in Apple's contact book. This is done to protect your contacts and ensure that nothing bad happens to them, as is prevalent with other contacts-related apps. Other cool features include a much better search function, which lets you search for your contacts on many criteria, including the notes on your contact. Also in version 2.5. We've added the ability to reorder and sort contacts based on your preferences for easier structuring, as you can see here. You can sort by first name, last name, last name, first name, or by organization and company, if you so choose. And we've added the ability to import existing groups from your Apple contacts if you've already created some. This is really great if you use a CRM or database management software. Because you can just import those to Apple Contacts and directly import them into Hit 'Em Up. Let's go over the Compose screen because we've added some new features there too. So here is where we construct the message. These buttons allow you to quickly insert your contacts first and last name into your message easily, and this icon lets you pick pictures to attach to your message, like so. But now we've added templates, which allow you to quickly create template text that you can reuse time after time, which is really useful if you don't want to do a lot of typing. Whenever you don't use a template, you can easily just swipe to delete it here as well. Let's select some people to send this message to now. I'll pick Anna, Hank, and Fred, and hit Next, where you'll see our new preview screen, which is really quite nice. Here you'll be able to see who you've selected to send your text to, and what the text message will look to each recipient. You can also deselect people who you may have not meant to select earlier. Also, notice the little gear icon at the bottom of the screen. Here you can change between personalized sending mode, which sends one text message at a time, which is partially because Apple doesn't let us send all these messages at one time because it wants you to preview and ensure that each message looks exactly how you want. But if you're in a rush and you want to create just a normal group text where everybody can see the thread and respond to it, just select Send as Group Text. You'll notice that the personalization disappears, where first and last name are now gone. That's because you can't send a personalized message to a whole group of people. Let's also cover the Select All button. The Select All button lets you select all of the currently filtered contacts from your contacts list or groups. So if we type in Anna and we only have one contact, and then we tap Select All, then Anna gets selected. This is great for selecting a lot of people very quickly, or filtering for a select group of people and then selecting them without tapping each contact. Now let's go over groups. Hit 'em up groups are very smart because they know when a contact is in multiple groups, which allows you to organize groups and subgroups without doing anything complicated. Just put the contact you want in each group under that group's title, and that's it. Hit 'em up figures it out and won't send the same message to the same person multiple times. This is good for when creating hierarchical groups. 
For instance, let's say I'm a high school administrator or teacher. I can create a group called All High School Students and put all of my contacts into it, like so, by tapping Add Contacts and then selecting everyone in the list. And then I can create another group called Sophomore Class and another group called Freshman Class, and I'll open those up and add half my contacts to the first group and half my contacts to the second group. Now, when I select all high school students, because freshman and sophomore class contain all the people in all high school students, when I select all high school students, both those two groups also get selected as you can see. Now we can tap on a group and cherry pick people that we don't want to receive the message. This is really great if you are planning a surprise birthday party or an office mutiny. As you can see at the top, the check mark is now partially shaded, which tells you that not all the contacts in that group are selected. We can also remove a contact by swiping to the left and tapping remove from group. Or we can change the name of the group by tapping and holding on the group and pulling down and then typing in the new name of the group, like so. Or we can delete the group altogether by swiping the whole group to the left and hitting delete group. And don't worry, when you remove a person from a group, or you remove a group, you never delete any contacts, just the references to those groups. So don't worry, they're still there in your contacts list. Lastly, Hit 'em Up operates on a subscription model, so you can check out our subscriptions by going to the menu, and then to store, and then checking them out. You can even get started today for as little as $1.25 a month for the year subscription, and all new users get a free 7 day trial. But you should act now, because prices may go up in the future. And don't worry, we won't automatically charge you or some silly nonsense like that. Our subscriptions are non-recurring, which means that as soon as you need to re-up your subscription, just go back to the store and do it then. And, all subscriptions include all current services available in Hit'em-Up, and all future updates that are relevant to those services. We may offer future services that may require an upgrade in the future, but we won't ever limit what you can currently do. That's it. If you like Hit'em Up, please share it with a few people you think could benefit from it and leave a review in the App Store. We really appreciate it when you do. We hope you like it and we look forward to your feedback or any questions you may have, which you can ask us here by tapping the question mark button and then support. So go ahead and hit them up.